What up in this genre? It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today we are at Tama Raceway created by Bravi. Now this is his first track ever made in MX Bikes. And I gotta say, hands down to him, man. This, this sand track is absolutely phenomenal, dude. So go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Get right into it, man. But today, this track has got some speed that you need to try to keep and some momentum. Because uh, you're going to have to switch up your lines quite a bit. It's like a little inside outside inside outside type thing and i gotta say it's actually pretty fun to try to get through and learn so i i say definitely give this one a go it is free on mx bikes uh mods like right there i can easily get more speed in there but yeah it's very uh very technical track like and since i like the uh the placement of the trees it makes it hard to see like the track at times so it's like oh man I, what am i like getting into like what but rut or what is there even like a little spot right there am i gonna mess up but yeah that, that's pretty cool i got a pretty pretty good like feel of the track so far i think i've put down like 15 something laps so i'm still trying to work out where's where where is it at like where what great lines there is but oh my goodness yeah i'm currently in the husqvarna 250 i was gonna go on a 450 but i love railing sand tracks with a 250 it just makes you feel like makes you kind of like master your craft i should say and the uh and the speed and momentum because you want to keep your speed up in order to go fast but yeah let's go ahead and talk about the track a little bit it's kind of got that sw swampy vibe i know this is in west poland so it's very tree kind of woodsy i don't see any swamps around but you know kind of got that strike vibe just a little bit um but yeah i would love to go to this track irl since this is I guess a replica oh my goodness I guess since it's a replica inside of a uh, Poland, so. But I guess uh, let's talk about some of the line choices here. I know here there's like some weird rut in the outside, so that's why I take the inside, and I try to out power the outside to the inside to catch this rut. And obviously this is some rollers. You want to kind of stay on top of them. You go into third gear, and then you want to rail this outside just so you can get the speed to top this, but slow down just a little bit, because I don't think the 250 can have the power to triple that and same thing here you just want to catch this rut or this roller into those i'm still trying to figure out like how to get more speed in there but we're gonna get there oh no i thought you were bad you ain't bad you ain't nothing uh thank you guys for 600 subscribers man just been pushing you guys are absolutely killer for that beast beast incarnate I like that i like that line right there that's when you can figure that one out but it's got a good flow once when you can start figuring out your lines it's actually pretty nice oh my goodness oh my goodness you ain't nothing yeah but as you can see like the switchbacks i think i can take the top part right there and then kind of cut in here i don't have to cut so early the switchbacks are real in this track and that's what i like so he's it's made a really nice track and i gotta say i would I wonder if there's gates around here. I haven't really looked too much into it. But if there's some starting gates, I would love to do a couple races on here. This would be amazing. Definitely to try to keep your speed up. Like I said, like tracks like this is where it's at. Try to like understand momentum. And this is what you can bring into like regular tracks. Now, yeah, see this right here. That's what I was talking about. That that road right there, like you have to take the inside. You're just a no-go. It doesn't make any sense. We can come into here. I'm kind of stuck on this Husqvarna though, not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I've been trying to ride other bikes and it's just like, man, like, nothing's more consistent than this bike for me. Uh oh, see? Little, little OJ. Yeah, it's been absolutely a beast. I am coming up on also uh, 300 hours, so I'm gonna be making a video on that here soon. That should be fun. I love uh, making l those little videos, little edits. Kind of just get the feel of everything. Now, let me know down in the comment section, should I start working if you guys made it this far? <laughs> I always got to say that if you guys made it this far and you guys are willing to comment. But uh, comment down down below if I, you think I should start working more on Supercross. Kind of getting the feel. I have, have the gist of it down, but I don't have enough of it down. You know what I mean? So I feel like I should start working on it, but I think I have time in it to work on it. I mean, but yeah. I don't know what else to talk about right now. <laughs> oh, let's talk about wall riding that dude sick. 
Man, this track, I think, I wonder what a good, I think like an easy clean lap for a 250, maybe a 128. Maybe somewhere around there, 130. It's not too of a, it's not too long of a, uh, long of a track. Something to really warm up on, kind of get that momentum going until you want to go into your regular track, because then you can kind of carry that momentum and speed over. Yeah, I don't want to take this inside. See, if you take this inside, it's just like this little rut right here or this little bump. I don't know. And then you really have no speed to kind of carry through here. And obviously it's not viable to go anywhere else but inside here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And you don't want to go to the outside here because it's like the exact same thing of the other corner. So, I guess that's my only complaint. Complain. Because like... Possibly take that one, the middle one, but I guess th those two little switchbacks you have to take only like one line. That's about it. Other than that, the rest of the track you can really try to play with, see see where's like the best spots for you. It might be two or three good fast spots in this track, cause like I said, I'm gosh man, I'm butchering this whole spot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And I'm ready for Bud's Creek though. I think by the time I'm posting this video, it'll either already be done, they've already completed the racing, or <clears throat> I don't know, I think it's what, three, four o'clock? They're probably going on right now. Kind of like to save it on Peacock and watch it a little later, but I'm excited for that bad boy. And give her one more lap, how about that, huh? Nothing too crazy, keep her nice, short, and simple. Once again, this is Tama Raceway created by Bravi, and it is a free track. So go ahead and pick that bad boy up. Pick this outside. You know what I like is, um, lately a lot of people's been uh, creating these bangers. And I, I, I said it before, but like, I just hope everybody holds up to the, like their standards because like their first tracks be absolutely bangers. And it's like, you can create like an absolute nasty track on the next one. It's like, man, what happened? And you kind of set yourself with an expectation and standard to the community where they're like, oh, you know, what happened, dude? You fell off that quick, you know? Like, you don't really have to touch. Oh, no. So, I guess that's the only thing I can say is just if you're going to start strong, just keep keep staying strong. I mean, I don't know how to make any tracks. I don't even know why. I'm kind of, like, giving my two cents for it, you know? Do, do as you please, you know? I mean, I'm still going to ride them, test them all out. It's been having fun making the content for all these, for all these spots. So, but I think a good amount of practice on this track, maybe a good two hours or so. I think I've only have like 40 minutes on it. Like I said, I was only riding a couple, couple laps before I started the video. But I think a good two hours on this track, as you can see, like you'll just start getting the momentum and knowing where you need to be. Probably be a killer on this. Ow. Yeah, that, that's going to be the end of the video, man. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And uh, I'll definitely catch you guys in the absolute next one, bro. Appreciate y'all. Pa-pa. Pa-pa. Peace.